What's going on guys? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are out here in the Northwoods. It is pitch dark out. You can't see a gall darn thing, but we know that there's a lake down here. We've been here before and we've caught some absolute giants out of here. There are some monster walleyes and that's exactly what we're gonna be targeting. So we're gonna get down there, do a little fall fishing for you guys. Let's see if we can hook up with an absolute monster. Let's do this. All right guys, so Brandon and I just got out on the water. Literally about five minutes into the night. It's about 7.30. As you can tell, it's extremely dark out here already for being only 7.30, but it gets pretty dark here in the Northwoods. We're already hooked up. This has got to be a walleye. Feels pretty decent. I'd get the net ready, Brandon. Yep, 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 hang on. Actually, no, I would just keep filming, keep filming. You sure? Yeah, I can land this one. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Oh my God. There we go. Dude! Woo! There we go! There's a nice walleye. Holy cow. Literally, like I said, five minutes out onto the water. Oh my God, dude, oh. that's a nice one. And we already got ourselves a really nice walleye. Let me get this guy unhooked right away and I'll show you. There we go. Look at that, you guys. That is a beautiful Northern Wisconsin walleye. It's probably around a 24, 25 inch fat female. It is about mid-fall right now as the time we're recording this and you're not going to get a lot of walleyes but the ones you do catch are going to be nice and big just like this one. They do get a lot bigger up here in the Northwoods but this is a beautiful, beautiful walleye stocking up for winter. I'm going to put this guy back into the net quick. I'm going to show you guys what I was using for my rod and reel and what I got that walleye on. So, as you guys probably know, all we run here on NB Edits is Fox River Rods. This is my 7.3 medium light Fox River Rod, and I got that dueled up with a 2000 series Daiwa. This is the Fugo series. And what I'm using for line, I got 15 pound braid to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader, about three feet. We're not fishing in anything over eight feet, so my leader is gonna be a lot smaller. And then what I'm using for bait today is I got a jig on. This is an eighth ounce eyeball jig from Northwind Tackle. This is gold color. This is by far Brandon and I's favorite uh, jig when it comes to walleye fishing. This thing just adds so much extra character when it's down in the water. It adds sparkle, some reflection that the walleyes can't resist. I would definitely recommend using it if you're just getting into walleye fishing or if you just haven't used them. Also good alternative to this if you don't have the eyeball jig is to look into the moon eye jig by VMC. Also a really good jig. And then all I'm using with that is it's tipped with a medium sucker, a walleye sucker. Pretty much the easiest tactic you can do when going for walleyes any time of the year, but especially in the fall because they are looking for that bigger size bait. All right, I'm gonna set this down, pick up this nice beautiful walleye again quick. We're gonna get one last good look at her. Just an absolute gorgeous fish. I'm gonna put it back in the net, grab a few pictures, and then we're gonna release this beast. And hopefully, we can get a few more before the night ends because literally, it just started. That is so awesome. Gonna get a release on this absolutely gorgeous Northern Wisconsin walleye. Wait for them to kick out of your hand. That means they're ready. There we go. Knew that fish was ready to go. Just like that, swims back to where it came from. Very important, you release those bigger size walleyes so you can keep reproducing in the lake so you can keep your walleye population going. Very important. Again, awesome way to start. Five minutes in, guys. Let's see if we can get some more. Holy cow. Nick's hooked up with another nice one. I think it might be a giant, dude. It looks big. Yeah, Nick, nice. Nets here, Nets here if you need it. Multitasking, this, this is what uh, you got to do when oh you're filming. Oh, oh yes. God. There we yes. go. Yes. Woo. That is nice. Okay. Again, still using that uh, Moon Eye jig. Not as big as the first one, but again, that is an absolutely gorgeous walleye. 
This one's probably 21, 22. Getting a little bit of a belly, but not nearly as big as that first one. But that is definitely a very nice walleye. That one hit it so incredibly hard. And then I, I twitched it a little bit more, thought maybe I could get another hit, and he came back and absolutely demolished it. Like, way harder than that first one. That is awesome. Right in the corner of the mouth, unhook it right away. Wow, lots of energy. Cool weather is definitely getting these walleyes all active. That is so awesome. So awesome colors up here. Super clear lake that we're fishing. That is awesome, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's one way to release a walleye. That's one way to release them. He definitely went, okay. On to some more, I guess. Feels pretty small. Got another one here, guys. This is my first one of the night. Got a couple hits, but this one's definitely the first hookup of the night. That's a decent one. Let's grab the net here. There we go. Buddy. Yeah, just a little guy. There we go. Woo! All right. First one of the night for Brando. Nice to see I'm able to join the club. That one's probably about a 14, maybe 15 inch fish. Not a bad one, but just a little walleye, so we're gonna let this one go here. Let me go ahead and move, move this net and get them into the water right away. As you can tell, they love to sit right on the edge of these weeds here. Just gonna let this one go. There he goes. That's awesome, guys. So let me show you what I'm using here. All right, so Nick had mentioned this earlier. Nick is throwing a Northland Tackle eyeball jig, and what I'm using is a VMC Moon Eye jig. Hopefully you guys can get a pretty good look at that. Now the difference in these two jigs that we're using is the Northland Tackle jigs come in four different colors, being silver, gold, sartreuse, and like a burnt copper orangish color, okay? Now these come in all sorts of different colors. You can get green, blue, pink, yellow, I mean just about anything you can think of. Um, and I've got mine tipped with just a tiny little piece of plastic, just like a Mr. Twister tail kind of like thing there. I just rip a tiny little chunk off. It just adds a little bit of a softer feel when the fish bites down onto your minnow, they're not gonna quite feel that hard jig. Some people use it, some people don't. I prefer to, just a tiny little chunk, three or four rings off of there. Pink in color is what did the trick. That was my first one of the night though. Nick has had two on the gold, and he did hook up with bigger fish. That was just a little guy. So we're gonna see if we can get into a couple more, hopefully here tonight. But I like to add something with just a little bit of color. Highly recommend those jigs compared to just your standard, normal jig heads. But we're just topping them with minnows. We've got suckers on here tonight. They're working really, really well. I had a small sucker and caught a small fish. Now Nick had two bigger suckers and had two bigger fish. So I think I'm gonna upsize and hopefully we can get into a couple more before we go in tonight. Well everybody, we just got to the landing. We had a pretty excellent night out there. I will say we got into three pretty decent walleyes. Nick got into two pretty nice ones yeah. actually. Uh, it was a really fun night out there. It always is up here in the North Woods. It's starting to get into late fall now. The leaves are starting to change colors. The lakes are starting to turn over. The fish are just starting to behave differently. So that's why we start using different techniques this time of year, more so targeting bigger fish rather than a quantity of fish. So overall, we did exactly what we thought we were gonna do. We were gonna come out and catch a couple really nice fish and that's exactly what we did. Hopefully you guys learned a few techniques from us tonight in today's video. We really tried to show you guys what we like to do while we're out there on the water and what we like to use to help catch walleyes in the fall. If you guys enjoyed watching us catch some walleyes again, make sure you let us know down in the comment section below and by giving us a like. It's been a hot minute since we've been targeting walleyes because lately that's all we've been doing is catching bass. So uh, it feels pretty good to be back out here now that the temperatures are dropping. Honestly, guys, ice is not that far away. Here in Northern Wisconsin, it's mid-October. 
we could honestly have ice the first week of November. So realistically, we're three weeks, maybe a month away from ice fishing. So we're pretty excited to get out here. We and will be the first ones out there. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, Last we're gonna be. Last year we were November 9th. We didn't film it for you guys. I think we put out a video, the week a after, live yeah. video. That was maybe a few days after that. And then we did our first one the week of Thanksgiving. But even the week of Thanksgiving is extremely early. So yeah. expect really early ice fishing content from us because we're gonna be going really hard. Oh yeah, bluegills, crappies, panfish, walleyes, you name it, we're gonna be targeting it this winter. So stay tuned for that. We've got a ton of videos coming up soon, guys. We really appreciate it. If you would drop a like, make sure you guys are part of the notification squad. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to do that. Until next time, guys, tight lines from NB Edits.